Ben, buy it, break it, fix it. All right, I got a good video for you today. I finally have some little accessories and stuff for the TRX4. So we're gonna do a video about that today. Um, also, I'm gonna update you on what we're gonna do for a giveaway. That's gonna be maybe later today. I don't know, maybe two videos released today. I'm not sure, but they're gonna be short and sweet so you don't have to waste your whole Saturday watching videos. So, yeah, to get the giveaway, it's going to be a little bit, I don't know, I, don't, I wouldn't say different, but um, it might be a little bit different. So, we'll see how that's going to go. I still have to figure it out. I need to talk to the boss. And, uh, okay, so let me show you some of the parts I got for the TRX4. I think you're really going to like them. Let's see here. Okay, software update on my phone, so I had to edit a little bit right there but anyway all this is yeah racing stuff all yeah racing products i'm not sponsored by them didn't even get a discount on anything i just ordered it just letting you guys know what i was buying drx4 021 metal hood vent and that's those and then we have a trx4 018 rubber safari snorkel and that's this which is pretty neat it actually has a little screen in there and then we have a TRX4 023 aluminum brass draw pitch, which is awesome. And then we have a TRX4 020 stainless steel front hood side diamond plate. And that's these. So I already have one side installed. I had to try to do it off camera just to make sure it went smoothly and I knew what I was doing. So. That's what the top looks like. Looks really, really good. And the bottom, it's hard to find uh, anything to fit that. I personally don't have anything to fit that. So uh, just a pair of um, small needle nose pliers holding it on wide, screwed down this side here. Also had to buy a micro uh, drill bit set because I don't have anything that small to drill those holes. So I have that set up in the Dremel. Um, it's good to have a lighter when you're doing um, heat shrink. So, um, okay, well, let me figure this out. You'll probably be on like a fast forward mode. I'm not gonna do much talking. Um, it's pretty straight and simple. All I did was, let me just show you real quick before I go into this work mode. If there's anything I forget, I mean, I'll stop and I'll let you know, but this side's a little different because this has a snorkel, so I need to take the snorkel off. And um, why don't you let me take the snorkel off okay, and I'll be right back. The off. So we're not going to do the install of the new snorkel yet because um, the plate, the way the plate goes on there. Let me get the camera adjusted here, see if I can get you a good view. Okay, so the plate goes on there like that, and the snorkel goes over top of it a little bit. So that's how we're going to mount it. And what I do is peel off the sticker. Okay, now the sticker's off. So what I did for the other side is made sure that was clear for uh, free of debris. And I'm pretty much there's this line for the hood. Let me get it for you. Right back there. See the end of it? It's like where, if it was a real truck, the hood would hinge. So, I'm lining it up back there. And that kind of lines the curve up automatically. And then I just hold it down. And I'm going to make sure I'm matched with my other side over here. And I just used a piece yesterday. The black tape was laying on the um, workbench, so I just grabbed it. And it seemed to do fine. So, line it up. It's pretty much lined up with the line. And I just taped over the center vent where the vent goes. To hold it in place for now. 
And then I took my Dremel and I drilled it out. So as you as I put it in, I have to screw it down because it doesn't just slip right through the lick sand. Okay, so there's one. I will put the rest of these in, tighten it down, and then I will pull the black tape off and we'll drill those holes and I'll put the vent in. Okay, so I got those done and in place. And I've not put any nuts on the bottom side yet. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and drill these holes and then We'll just flip it over and put the, all the nuts on the bottom okay. side. Don't get ahead of yourself like I just did. And I forgot to put my vent on. And now I need to back two of the screws out. It was almost three. And I realized that I didn't have my vent on. So we'll grab that. Which is right here, the O21. They come packaged nice individually in the uh, in a baggie. Just be very careful. These are very sensitive. <laughs> I shouldn't say they're. Just be gentle with them. So there's the vent. You can see through it. It's pretty cool. Now I'm not cutting this out yet. I might. In the very near future, I just am excited to get them on, and uh, we'll see how it looks. Actually, I just I'm scared about I'm well, I'm not scared, but I'm worried about putting the rock lights on in the wheel wells and it shining through there. I don't know if I want that or not, so we'll figure that out at a later date. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and install those screws and get the bent on. And we'll, uh, I ran out of memory on my phone or something. I had to clear some stuff. Alright, so here we go. Oh, that keeps the mirror on too. Makes sense, makes sense. Alright. So what we're going to do now is put a nut on each one of these screws. And we're going to tighten it down. So I'm not going to waste time. I mean, it's a pretty simple process. Okay, all those are started on there. They're not on all the way. They're just uh, just started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to back the screw out until the nut is down here. And I'm going to grab a hold of the nut with the pliers and then I'm going to tighten the screw in. That's uh, easier than turning the pliers on each one. So let me do that and we'll okay, be on right. There you have it. Second install done. Uh, it took a little bit of time to get all this tightened up, but no big deal. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to pop the snorkel on. Let's see if we can just do that real quick. A snorkel. Um, needs to be glued. So maybe we'll just put this on and let it go at that. So one hole down in the body and one mount up here by the windshield and it's on. Pretty simple install. No big deal. So let's go get that tightened up real quick. This snorkel is a little more flexible, little has a more rubbery feeling to it than the uh, stock. So there are snorkels on there. And then underneath has the uh, mount for it. So, which includes the mirror, which is laying around here somewhere. There it is. All right, let me get this stuff installed. I'll be right back. All right, there we go. With the install. 
snorkels on. I need to I need to glue this right here, this end piece. Just no big deal. I will glue it here shortly. Um I think that's what I did with it. Let's glue it. I'm assuming. Because it doesn't go on, it only goes on one way. And it's loose. Oh. Well, that's a little snug, but it needs to be more, or else as soon as we get out on the trail, it'll be down. So, it'll probably fall off right now. Anyway, there's what you got. There's the accessories. So, one last thing. We will put the uh, receiver on. And we'll be simple. Looks pretty nice, I think. Let me back the camera up here a little bit. I like it. Let's see what it looks like with the body on. Might have to move it out, I don't know. Think about trying to make a trailer for it. We'll see. It is going to affect my ground clearance to a point. So, I don't know. I like it. I like it. Running over my tools. Alright, so hopefully this turns out to be a pretty short video and not too long. We have some videos coming up in the future. I don't know if somebody saw it in the background on the other picture or on the other video. I got a Shockwave Pro Boat. And uh, you can see my TRX4 Scaling Trail Crawler. Yeah. It's up there. And then, uh, like I said, we got some giveaways to get ready for. So watch for a video later on today. And um, pay forward. Be nice. You know, if we if we can if we can leave some kind of imprint every day on this world, I'm not saying we're gonna change the world, but to start. Thanks everybody for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Ben.